I'm sorry to have to say it, but there's not a single one of you people that have come to any member of this board in David. Why would, why would that not be the case? And I'm not going to believe that point, but that is an obligation of you to come. I have been to see you, Ross. You came to me when you won the superintendent's job. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> I'll ask for your resignation right now if you're going to start that mess. Because you got that right with you. Bob, you're on this end of the United States. Okay, but let me set the record straight on that right now. The record got the record. The, uh, and as far as the, 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 so, the Rosemary, you alluded to the, you know, being back in the top 10 and, and you know, the thing that, that is, that's just, that's a goal. It, it should be a goal that we have. It should be a goal. It should not be a, re a reason to get rid of the super fine. We, we, okay, I, I'm not going to belabor that point. We have never. I would like to No, let me finish the statement. We have we never asked for his resignation. We thought the things was fine. We, did not. <laughs> we too thought things were fine. We feel that Dr. Milner is the sacrificial lamb. That if he had forgive me, if he had counted to what you wanted him to do instead of sticking up for what was right. This probably never would have happened. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've had a number of people ask me what, what's the problem, what's going on, and so obviously there's been a lack of understanding. And what I've prepared, your know, ability in like a few minutes, uh, is to help uh, all of us understand. And, and once we do, we can move forward and, and help uh, eliminate the unpleasantness of the events that occurred recently and, and particularly the uh, the resignation of Dr. Miller. The following is a stress of my personal views which I believe to be true. As a recent member of the Enterprise City Board of Education, I'm only by the interest and concern you've exhibited for our school system as evidenced by the director of attendance. The expressions to Dr. Miller our school administrators, our faculty, maintenance department, transportation, support staff, and the school board members. Without a doubt, recent events have gained the attention of our community. When things seem to be going well, most of us may become apathetic, which facilitates abuse of power by those who vote as well. They may seem well or different from the vast majority and can lead to irreparable harm. Dr. Milner, his family, and to a large degree, our school system and our community have felt the harm from the of unbridled egos by some, not all, school board members. who boasted of having a majority of votes on the school board and have threatened action counter to the recommendation by the superintendent and professional educators of our school system. I sometimes watch Fox News, they have a tagline, fair and balanced. While the verbal agreement might be called fair, it is not balanced. I have told city officials, members of the citizens committee, Dr. Reeves, Dr. Miller, and I'll say to you, in exchange of $30 million or $7,700,000 is a good deal almost any time. However, we'll need to examine the details a bit more closely. When two parties are entering into an agreement, one party may write the terms of the agreement, and not surprisingly, those terms will generally favor the originating party. The other party will then try negotiating the terms for fairly and balance. When this attempt for negotiation was done by the school system, they were at a disadvantage for a number of reasons and were given an ultimatum essentially as this is the only deal offered. That's requiring repayment by the school system of $550,000 per year for a period of 14 years, beginning 2016. However, the city did not provide the school system with any additional revenue sources to assist with that repayment. Why this approach by the city? There may be plenty of blame to go around for all of us in our community. <coughs> this led to slides digging in their heels and creating strange relations between some, some city officials and school system officials. So that you've got friends on both sides of this issue. And somehow we've got to come back together as one. I, I've sat here and listened to y'all, or several people criticize the mayor and council of our I, 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 For those who know me, I'm in an accounting firm, and um, 
We represent some 150 cities plus in Alabama, Florida, and other states. Mount Brooks is a client. The state is a client. And I would put the, I would put the financial condition and the way the city of Enterprise is ran by the mayor and council up, up against any city that we represent. You know, as far as as far as attack on the board is concerned, you know, Burton does. I, I think our great performance. I think they do a great job. Uh, Joe Paul did a great job, and uh, uh, but but you know I've I've known Ross Carter since I've been in Enterprise, and I've represented him since I've been in Enterprise. I go to church with him. You know, there's nobody that would look after the detail of the funds of the student system any more than he will, and his his decisions will be open decisions, they'll be honest decisions, and they'll be what his thoughts are. And so, in the same thing with Gordon, the same thing with James. And so, somehow, before I get to the $550,000, I just wanted to say that we need to come together. We need to move forward. We need to get past the issues and move forward as one. We're making a mockery of enterprise. You know, we've got the press here tonight. And they were good before, and they're going to be good the next time as long as everybody's showing up and doing what we're doing. But somehow we've got to move forward as one and, and get past this, and, 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 uh, and, and let's come out with what we're supposed to be as enterprises. And so, but there's a group of us, uh, of which we 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 a video here tonight. They served on it. Um, Walt Wilkinson served on it. I don't remember all the others that did serve on it. But, but basically, we were asked to try to bring the city and the school board together and trying to get the funds necessary to go forward with the financing of the construction of the school system, of the school, of the school of the high school and, and the Hillbrook school. Um, and it really had come to an impasse. Basically, the um, uh, Dr. Reese was there and, and, and he said, you know, we cannot afford any additional funds. We're subject to pro proration. And, um, and the city said, well, if we pass the sales tax, Basically, uh, and we use it just totally for the next few years, or, or the entire few years, for the purpose of uh, just the payment of the school bonds, that basically we won't have uh, money necessary to, to do other projects needed in the city. So they were at an impasse. I asked Dr. Reese, I said, on the early childhood, or excuse me, the early learning center, you're paying a million two hundred thousand dollars a year, when does that pay off? And it was in 2016. And I said, well, you, you, that money is already budgeted in the process, of the, the, it's already in the, in, in the school's budget, the expenditure is. And then basically that would go away at that point in time. And could, would you consider putting $550,000 towards the bond issue at that point in time? You know, the payments, the payments being made presently by the city is, is you know, I heard somebody say the city is not contributing to the school system. And you know, the, the payments just on that bond issue is 2.1 or 2.2 million dollars a year. Plus a significant amount of sales tax is actually being sent <coughs> to the school system every year. So, so they do contribute uh, to the school system. Yes, they the Enterprise Board paid $550,000 annually to the city of Enterprise beginning in 2016 and for, for the remainder of the bond issue. So basically, it was approved at both authorities. Okay, it was a general obligation sales tax that was passed. Uh, the the bond issue was a general. It's a, excuse me, it was a, it was a, uh, a, a general obligation bond issue that, that we had, which basically coming from the revenue of the city. Okay, there was not there was no requirement to have an agreement. You know, there was no requirement that said that you had two two entities, the city of enterprises entities, basically we issue a financial statement for the city of enterprise and the school board is included in that financial statement. And so as, as a result, there's no requirement for a agreement between the two. The, the authority, the board, passed it as, as far as the, the school board as far as the city council. So, you know, I urge everyone to come together Let's get past this issue, just as Joe Paul did. Let's move forward. Uh, I support the school board and I support the council and the mayor.